Call center CRMs are quite vital for customer relationship professionals. And one of the top rated call center CRMs is Zoho Desk. Since call center CRMs are quite different from typical CRMs, many people might find it difficult to use Zoho Desk. So in this video, we will show how to get started and maintain customer relationships with Zoho Desk. The setup process with Zoho Desk starts with account creation. Go to Zoho's official sign-up page, type in your email address, and follow the guided prompts to complete verification. During this process, you'll also create your organization's profile. Once you're done, you'll immediately gain access to a 15-day free trial, giving you time to test the platform. After that, it's time to get to know the layout. At the top of the interface, there's a navigation bar where you can switch between modules like Tickets, Knowledge Base, Customers, Reports, and more. Access the search tool and adjust your settings. The left sidebar serves as the primary navigation panel, listing essential departments. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find alerts, user information, and system notifications. This structure keeps all tools within easy reach, so you're not wasting time digging through menus. Once you've explored the layout and understand where things are, you can begin configuring the platform based on how your team works and what your customers need. Your customer data is critical to how your call center operates, and Zoho Desk makes managing it straightforward. Inside the Customers tab, there are two important areas to work with, Contacts and Accounts. In the Contacts section, click the plus button to open the entry form. You'll be able to fill in standard fields like name, phone number, and email, along with any custom fields you've configured for your workflow. If you're working with a bulk list, use the import feature to upload a CSV file. During the import, Zoho allows you to map each column from your spreadsheet to the right fields in the system, so everything aligns properly. After your contact information is complete, shift over to the Accounts tab. Here, you can add the businesses or organizations each contact works for. You can also link individuals to their respective companies directly. When both contacts and accounts are set up, you'll have a clear, connected, and fully searchable view of your customer structure. Now to the lifeblood of your call center operations, ticketing. Under the Tickets tab, every customer inquiry appears as a ticket, whether it arrives via email, phone, or web form. To create a new ticket manually, fill in basics like subject, requester, department, and priority. Add detailed descriptions or attachments as needed. Once created, clicking on a ticket reveals comprehensive contact details, the entire conversation thread, any resolutions provided, and time entries that track how long each agent spends on the case. You can also attach files, view approval workflows, and audit the ticket's history in one place. Public comments update customers, while private notes keep internal discussions separate. Along the left of the ticket's homepage, you'll find specialized views. Headquarters serves as a dedicated dashboard for ticket metrics such as incoming versus resolved counts, live traffic graphs, and unassigned ticket queues. Team Feeds lets you see real-time collaboration updates, who's responding to what and when. Agent Queue and Team Queue help distribute workload evenly, and tags allow you to categorize issues for quicker retrieval. Together, these features give you complete control over ticket flow and team performance. Zoho Desk isn't just about responding to support tickets. It gives you tools to manage the whole service experience. One of those tools is the Contracts module, found right at the top navigation bar. When you go into it and click Add Contract, you'll be able to select the customer account the contract applies to. From there, set a start and end date for the agreement. Define what the service includes and turn on renewal alerts so your team gets notified before anything expires. 
You can also link that contract to specific contacts for easy access later. Now, move over to the Activities tab. This section lets you track everything your support agents need to do. Calls, tasks, meetings, or service commitments. Just click New Activity to log an item. You'll enter details like the start time, how long it should take, the urgency level, and what stage it's in. These activities can also be tied to tickets or customers, helping your team keep a clean, organized view of what's happening and what needs follow-up. It's all about making sure commitments are visible and managed in real time. More and more customers now expect instant communication, and Zoho Desk delivers with its instant messaging platform. It's designed as a true omni-channel solution, meaning it brings all major chat services together under one roof. WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, SMS, they're all integrated into a single interface, giving agents a unified view of every conversation. Setting it up is intuitive. Head over to the messaging section within Zoho Desk, select which messaging channels you want to enable, and then customize your chat widgets so they fit your branding. Agents benefit from being able to manage multiple customer chats at the same time without hopping between different apps. There's also built-in support for rule-based chatbots, which take care of repetitive or simple queries automatically. Altogether, it reduces the time it takes to solve problems and helps maintain a smooth experience for both agents and customers. When it comes to making the right decisions in customer service, Zoho Desk gives you a full suite of analytics tools, starting with the Dashboard tab. This tab is packed with built-in widgets that track essential metrics, ticket volume, how long it takes to resolve issues, and how satisfied customers are. It's built for those who need a snapshot of how things are running. Moving into the Reports section, this is where you can get granular. You can use predefined templates or create custom reports that focus on the metrics that matter most, like how fast your team responds to tickets or how many tickets are still open. Then there's the Advanced Analytics tab, which works alongside Zoho Analytics. Here, you can combine data from multiple sources, drag and drop to build charts or dashboards, and even apply forecasting models. It includes over 75 pre-built report formats covering various use cases. And finally, there's the Radar app for mobile. It's designed to keep managers updated in real time. It shows live KPI cards, lets you monitor service life cycles, and highlights anomalies using AI, giving you insight the moment something starts to shift. Zoho Desk packs many more capabilities, but for beginners, mastering account setup, customers, tickets, contracts, chat, and analytics provides a solid foundation. Give these steps a try, subscribe for more tips, and start transforming your call center support with Zoho Desk today. Thanks for watching.